Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. Greg, thanks very much for joining me tonight. No um, you know, we've had um, a few games now in the season. Um, how do you think they're going so far? Um, you know what? We started slow, obviously. Uh, coming in, a lot of us hadn't played in you know 18 months or so, a year and a half. and. Um, so we had to get the legs under us, but now that uh, you know everyone's kind of been accustomed to, to Scotland and the UK and this league in general, I think you know we're doing really well as a team right now, and I think um, it's showing, especially at home. Uh, we definitely you know play a little better at home than we do on the road right now, but it just it comes with our fans, I guess, obviously being a, a big part of that. But um, we're slowly getting there, and I think you're, you're slowly seeing a, a team that's uh, you know starting to compete every night. Yeah, I mean, obviously you've got used to the league as you've come over for your, for your first time. I mean, where do you see yourself fitting into the league itself? Personally, I don't know. I think, yeah, I've played against a lot of these guys in the past uh, in under leagues and stuff like that. So um, it's nice to have some, you know, familiarity with that and knowing guys that you're playing against. Um, but I think I fit in well in the league. It's a, it's a skating league. you gotta, you got to be, uh, you know... Uh, skating every night to, to, to compete, and especially against you know the, the top clubs, um, they come with speed and, and a, lot of, a lot of skill, and we're trying to you know replicate that. So. I mean, obviously, um, you're in one, and you know, our first line was uh, Mike and Carlson. Uh, well, obviously, played the night before. Yeah. Um, but between that trio of you guys, what what made you guys stick to? Um, well, like, like you said, uh, obviously I played with Mike, so that, that makes it easier when you play with a guy coming into a, to a new place. And I always, you know, kind of know what, what he's up to on the ice, so it makes it easier for me to, to know where at least one guy on the ice is going to be at all times. And then Carson, he's just fitting well with us. Like, he uh, he does whatever you, you want him to do, right? He'll, he'll just he'll go get the puck in the corner, he'll skate by the man, he, he does it all, block shots and stuff. So he's just a good complimentary guy to, to be there with us to, to help us, you know, Get get pucks in, get pucks out, and, and, and create chances. So he's uh, he's been awesome for us so far this year, and hopefully that can continue for our line. And what are your personal aspirations for the team? Well, I I know Fife hasn't won anything in a long time, so it'd be nice to, to win something, whether that's you know the Challenge Cup or the league itself. Um, I think that's a goal of ours. Uh, you know, we don't want to leave the fans empty-handed at the end of the season. They've been great for us so far, so. Um, you know, we're just trying to you know, pile up as many wins as we can and, and put ourselves in a position that we can, you know, maybe pull that out. I just want to talk a bit about myself as well and the new year so far. Um, obviously, earlier in the year, the draft by the Oilers. Um, what, I mean, what was that feeling like when you found that news? I was, it was pretty cool, you know, getting drafted by your hometown team. Um, I grew up watching those guys you know, every night uh, that they played. And, um, just being able to, you know, go into Rexall and, and Rogers Place and, and practice in the building that I, that I grew up, you know, falling in love with hockey. Um, it was a great experience and, um, you know, I learned a lot in my time in Edmonton and um, learned a lot as a player and, and a person. So, um, you know, it, it was nothing but, but good times and um, I think it was, it was a cool experience and something I'll look back on, you know, later in life. And what get okay, what do you get this year if you did not get a set up? Well, it's, it's different, obviously. Um, at first, you're a little, you know, star-eyed. You, you don't know what to do, and you're just you're trying not to get in the way of guys, right? Um, you see a lot of the guys, you, you know, you grew up watching, like I said, and um, grew up, you know, aspiring to, to be one day. And um, just, I guess, seeing what they do on an everyday basis and seeing how, how professional they are and, and what they do, uh, you know, to take care of their bodies and stuff like that. I think that's a, a big part of what I learned while I was there. And there, was, there was just a... There was a lot of information you had to take in, and it was overwhelming at times, but it, it was fun for sure. Um, you know, you've been at a number of clubs as well over you know, the AHL and the NHL, the East Coast League as well. Have you got any particular highlights on, from that time as well? Um, well, when I played in the WHL, I spent most of my time in, in Calgary for four years, and I think that's a, a big highlight of, of my career. Um, you know, it's a Great city and, and a place where you know we had a lot of success when I was uh, when I was younger and um, I had a great billet family and, and a great roommate and I kind of you know had a lot of, of really good memories from, from Calgary so that's a, a great spot and everywhere else along the way has had its own little uh, you know things that made it special so um, you know whether it was playing in the, like you said in the American League or in, in California or in the East Coast uh, on the on the East Coast in Maine. Um, 
it, it was all special to me in a different way. So um, just that getting that experience, not a lot of people get to do that for, for a living. So um, to be able to travel and do that, it's it's been pretty cool. You feel like you've opened up a new chapter in your career coming from across here as well? Yeah, I think so, absolutely. Um, obviously, everyone's dream when they when they grow up is to, to play in the NHL, but that's not uh, that's not realistic for everyone. So just to be able to come over here and, and you know make a career out of it in Europe, whether I stay in, in uh, the UK or I go somewhere else, I'm just you know looking for the experience and seeing where it takes me. And I think that's the best part about it. And we have a bit of a, um, a look into you as well. I see you, the, the nephew of uh, Kelly Chase, who I think some of the Flash fans might be familiar with. Um, I think he was very much known as being quite a tough guy in the NHL. Yeah. Um, I mean, how much of an inspiration was he to your hockey career? Yeah, it, it was a big part of it, obviously. Uh, growing up, having him, you know, playing in the NHL, well, mostly fighting in the NHL, was uh, it was pretty cool. I got to go to a lot of different, um, you know, facilities around the league with him and um, you know, meet people that other other people might not get to meet and kind of form relationships with guys uh, that are that are pretty uh, pretty cool people and. You know, he's, he's taught me a lot, he's always been there for me and just been a, a positive influence in my career for sure. I was looking into him, yeah, he's he played 458 times in the NHL and he wrapped up 2,000 uh, penalty minutes in that time as well. So I think if my maths is right, it's like five minutes a game, I think. Um, yeah. So have you, um, have you brought anything from his game into yours or you know, has the game changed in all that time? Well, yeah, the game has changed a little bit. I think when I was younger, I tried to play a, a little bit like him. Obviously, it's we're, we're two different players. I think I have a little more scoring touch and um, offensive ability than Kelly did. Not that not that he couldn't put the puck in the net, but uh, he chose a different route and he was he was successful at it. So um, I just uh, growing up, I, I didn't want to be put in that same realm. I guess I didn't, you don't just want to be a fighter. Obviously, growing up, so um, I took whatever he but his, his whatever his advice was, and I you know tried to leave that. And, he, he always told me to, to keep the gloves on when it mattered and if, if I needed to stick up for a teammate that's when it mattered the most to drop the gloves so um, you know he always had great advice and he's just you know just a guy that I'm thankful to have in my career for sure. You think you could see him in the fight face at some point? I think so I think he was my dad's been here once already and you know my dad loved the experience and, and kind of hanging out in the in the old rink and it kind of reminds them of back home in Saskatchewan so um, yeah, Kelly's just happy that I'm enjoying myself playing hockey, so hopefully him and his son can come over here and, and, and see it for themselves. It'd be awesome. I mean, uh, we're just also speaking to Cam about the experience you've had in, in fights so far. Have you got anything that you, you want to, to tick off while you're here? Uh, there's a couple of golf courses I'd love to play. We've we've gotten to Glen Eagles, and um, I know a couple of the guys have played St. Andrews, the old course, but I haven't got to yet, so that's obviously one I'd like to do. Um, other than that, there's nothing... I'd like to take off. I'd like to see the Highlands, maybe. I've heard that's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I, I just I just go where I where I go, and hopefully you know see some cool things along the way. And um, I try and take the advice of all the other people around town and um, see what they uh, what they can can work up for us. And you know, all of us are, are just trying to do stuff together and, and experience it. So it's been it's been fun, and you know, the fans and Fife have been helpful with whatever we need. So we thank them for that. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No problem, guys. Thank you. The Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.